let us continue with our lesson over here so the next thing that we want to do over here is to create a listenable so whenever a value changes so whenever we add a new record it should update our list view automatically right so it should be a reactive way so what we'll do is we'll go to our teacher page over here and instead of the list view what we will do is we will create a value listenable builder so just create this one and let me initialize the all of the required parameter okay so let me arrange it properly so here it takes a value listenable right so what we will do over here is we'll create our uh, teacher box that we have dot the listenable so we can create a listenable and then once we have this listenable and we can create a builder so it takes a build context and the box and the widget itself so let's go and add in the three contexts and we also need a box so box is our let's say a box itself and then we have a widget as a child or the widget that you can call it so once we have this uh, we need to return a body so here we will return our list view so i guess it should be here just cut this section and then we'll paste it inside our builder okay that's the fine and let me try to arrange our a bit properly over here this is closed over here this is for this one and i need to have a semicolon okay that's great i don't need this over here so i guess i need it over here okay i think that should be fine and here we still need to provide a return type written okay and let me arrange this one okay that's that looks like the error is gone so this is on the teacher page we have added it over here and uh, then i guess that should be fine so let us try to um, rerun our application right so i think that should be fine let me try to arrange a bit properly and okay so that's look fine so let's go and rerun our application and now let's go to the uh, teacher and let's add a new one so i will just add a five and let's say a demo five name h as let's give as a 39 and subject let's say uh, math and just save it and just click on back then you get the uh, inserted record so now which means that the a value listenable builder is working so it will listen to the box right so if you go to the documentation it's it's uh it says here that the value listenable and the builder argument must be must not be null and the child is optional but the good practice is to use if the part of the widget or subtree does not depend on the value listenable but we have a dependency on the another child so what we will do is you can also go and read the about the listenable what it does actually does it does uh, it returns a value listenable which notifies uh, its listener when the entry in the box changes so uh, this means that whenever uh, whenever our entry in this particular teacher box changes it will notify and rebuild this particular widget so um, that's the thing that we have actually done it over here and um, you can also do it for the, the your student page over here just i will leave it to you as the homework so you can just implement that one too so we have implemented it in our value listenable on our teacher so the next thing that we would like to do is we would like to do uh, to work with the bank page so this will be an encrypted box so we will do some encryption for this box so let's meet up on the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.